Okay, it's our job to find the cosine of pi over 12. It's not one of our standard, you know, 45, uh, 30, or 60. So we can't just uh, read it off of the unit circle. Um, pi over 12 is, is half of uh, pi over 6. And so... Um, we also can think about pi over 12 as being the difference between pi over 3 and pi over 4. This, I think this is the one we need to go to. So what we need is formulas that tell us how to find the cosine of, of, an, of a difference of two angles. So here are some formulas here. And so um, the cosine of the, of the difference here will be using this formula here. The cosine of a difference is the cosine of each, the product of the cosines of each, added to the product of the sines of each. And so we're going to get the cosine of pi over 3 times the cosine of pi over 4. And to that, we add the sine of pi over 3 multiplied by the sine of pi over 4. Okay. And on our unit circle, pi over 3 is here. It has the coordinates 1 half and root 3 over 2. Pi over 4 is here. It has the coordinates root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. So this guy is the cosine. The x is the cosine of the angle. And the y is the sine of the angle. And so now we just need to plug in. cosine of pi over 3 is a half. The cosine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. The sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2, while the sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. And we add these together. So, what we get is root 2 over 4 plus, we have the root of A times the root of B. You can put them together underneath one root. So that's, that's, plus root of 6 all over 4. And so that's your answer. Root 2 plus root 6 all over 4. Now, that might not be in simplest forms. I mean, it's the answer. That might not be in the simplest form, but it is the answer, though. Um, what else you could do would be to... Uh, Factor out what they have in common in the numerator. Uh, both terms in the numerator have a root 2 in common, so we could factor that out. If we factor that out, um, if we factor out the root 2, We'll be left with uh, a 1 from the first term and a root 3 from the second term. Okay, so this is another acceptable answer. Um, and then finally, uh, these two can interact with each other. 
and uh, we can call this uh, this guy is 2 squared and this guy is 2 to the half okay and so whenever you have um, a to a power over b to a over a to a, another power you can uh, subtract so if we have a uh, a 2 to the half divided by a 2 squared, that's subtract the exponents, and what you get out is uh, 2 to the negative 3 halves, or 1 over 2 to the 3 halves. Okay, so we can have 1 plus the root 3. And then um, 2 to the 3 halves is the same thing as 2 root 2. It's, uh, it's root 2 cubed. And so it's a root 2, a root 2, and a root 2. These guys combine to give you 2. So our final, most simplified version of our answer would be here. Uh, although this is a good answer, we can also accept... Uh, this is, if you look in the back of the book, you'll see this answer. Okay, great.